We're going. This is going. Mm -hmm. God damn. Seven. I'm not ready. I'm sorry I can't get drunk with you. I'm uh, 18. If you don't drink when you play, you're doing it wrong. Noni. <laughs> I was actually in a guild with uh, Noni back in the day. Back, man, back when I was like 15 years old. We were both in uh, Element. And, hmm. uh, I mean, he's the wine toss. He gets drunk all the time. Noni was special, though. Everybody knew that Noni was uh, going to bigger and better things. Hmm. That's actually kind of interesting. I didn't know that. I knew he was an element, actually. Yeah, I was but... an element, too. You didn't know that? <laughs> no, I didn't. I was a little bit Was that back in Brood War? Yeah, absolutely. That's cool. Oh, I'm, yeah, because I'm surprised you even oh. knew about element, to be honest. Yeah, I did. I've heard of it because I, uh, I've i seen uh, a little bit uh, on Noni. Okay. So I knew about it. Anyways, game starting. We have TRG Ricer Car. Um... For all those watching the stream, he actually has a sick bunk bed. He shares it with his brothers. I saw him on his stream today. But uh, he is going to be the green zerg in the uh, top left position. Then uh, at the purple, a very mannered bubble person saying good luck twice. Because once doesn't suffice, we have bubble tox. And uh, from uh, my recollection, I actually don't remember it myself, but uh, bubble actually beat us in the last uh, clan war we had with them. Beat us to the... Uh, the uh, rubber match, if I recall, right, Sink? Yeah, they uh, beat us 4-5 to five in our last match with uh, Versailles. He got knocked out. I forgot how. I couldn't... I can't remember it. But it was very, very, very close. But now we have a few more... Uh, we have a few new people. Hopefully we can come back and be bubble this time around. We'll be expecting what's going on. Do we have the... Uh... Looks like early uh, drone scout coming from Ricer Car. That's pretty much the only uh, difference in the builds that I'm seeing right now. Yeah, that's more of like a safe play because he just doesn't want to get six pulled because his overlord won't get across the map in time to see a six pull coming. Right. He'll just see the zerglings running across the map and then he'll be like, oh crap. <laughs> Game over. Yeah, I suppose in this map too, uh, everybody knows the spawning positions. It's kind of easy to get away with that stuff. Yeah, we do have uh, Ricer Car going for the hatch first, which also makes sense why he's drone scouting. But Tox is going for the 15 pool. I think he's going to go directly into a hatchery afterwards, probably a 16 hatch, which is what this drone is doing. And uh, Ricer Car is just going to follow up with uh, pool gas and start getting those uh, zerglings and banelings. Got a little drone on drone love going on here. This is action. Apparently, I have to chug a bottle of uh, Patron if one of these dies, so I'm. Honestly, gonna say I hope nothing happens. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. I don't think Tox is going to have very many banelings early on to defend because of uh, just by nature of his build, he's going pool then hatch, and he can't really afford to get gas unless he wants to cut either queens or stack up larva. Eh, that's actually a good point. Normally, the hatch first is the risky build, but. Um, doesn't really look like Tox did anything to counter that, but eh, early game, two diamond players, you know, not so gr nitty gritty in the uh, things when it comes to this level of play. Yeah, definitely. But what's really, really interesting about what Ricer Car is doing is he doesn't have a gas geyser. Instead, he's going for this double queen and a spine crawler for defense rather than getting Zergling Speed and Banelings. This is going to allow him to get a lot of Secrete Spread because he's going to get two extra Queens. He's going to have four Queens total. And he's going to have defense with these two Spine Crawlers now. That's a little bit interesting. I think... Did he spot the Hatchery at Purple's Net? Uh, I believe that he did. Yeah, he, I mean, he, he would have known. He, they were battling it out. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he knows. So I'm a little bit confused on Ricer Card's build. I I don't know much about ZVZ, but I do know that you need Zergling I, speed I, very quickly. They, I mean, yeah. the issue is he can have as many spine crawlers as he wants there, but Zerglings are so mobile. He could run up the ramp, run down the ramp. I mean, you really don't want to lose. You don't want to play, you know, defense versus mobility because when it comes to Zerg versus Zerg, mobility is going to win every time. Yeah, you're exactly right on that one. 
Um, so now Reisterkar is going for this uh, double gas after the four queens. It's really smart because now, oh, it's, yeah, he did get four queens. I was like, where's the fourth one? But he's going to get a lot of creeps spread out. It's going to allow him to take an earlier third, and these uh, gas geysers are going to allow him to get up roaches. I suppose four queens is actually the uh, saving grace that he can have because I, I think it'd be tough to kill off two queens with a run by, but you could probably kill off one. But you know, if you have that extra, it's not that big of a loss. It's actually in your favor. The uh, unit's gonna lose. You're also sounding like you're in a wind tunnel. Me? Hur Hurricane Katrina? Yeah. It shouldn't. That's kind of annoying. You're moving around. Um. How about now? No, it's good now. Okay. Well, it looks like um. Purple actually Tox went for the same exact kind of idea with his opener as Reister Card did, got the where he got the uh, four queens and then it's starting to do the creep spread. But the there is another difference that Reister Card got a baneling nest and Tox got a roach horn and is now getting working on his lair. That's really interesting how late he wants to get speed yet he's going to be going for more of a uh, zergling build. Whereas Tox is going for more of a uh, upgraded ro roach build, I hate to say it, but I think uh, I, I see Tox having a little bit of an advantage here. It really depends on the timing of the, when those Zerglings can come out. However, taking the third here is actually good because it's going to be a little rough to put any pressure on that third considering he's not getting any Zerglings to do anything about that. And typically in Zerg vs. Zerg, whoever gets their third wins the game. <laughs> um... I don't know, he's going to, with the layer that Tox is getting up, he's going to be able to get speed roaches, and I think that's going to just completely shut down the third if Reisercar is behind on the roach count, especially in the upgrades, since Tox got the 1-1 uh, one, one really quickly for his roaches, and mm -hmm. <clears throat> honestly, Reisercar's is about a full minute behind his. Yeah. That third does things. remain unscattered. He did send out two Zerglings, and uh, the uh, Reisercar did deny them. Yeah, Reisercar hasn't gotten a lot of scouting done, actually. He's hasn't been scouting since he saw that hatch go down. So now he's just going to run into a wall of roaches, basically. And be like, oh no, I probably chose the wrong tech, tech path, and now I'm a little bit behind on the unit count. Yeah, exactly. And did do lose some lings with that, and he's getting his roach run up. So I think in the long run, Reisercar will uh, come out on top. But unless Tox does something with these roaches... That's probably well. That's probably going to be the case. He does have the option, but it's going to be tough because I mean they can only do so much. And when you are making roaches, you have nothing at home to defend, and a zergling can kill things a lot faster than a roach. And when you're doing yeah, a base race situation, when you have one less base, that's tough as well. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I would like to see these zerglings run across the map for counterattack, especially since these are he, slow roaches and, he sees and them coming are. Has these three spines with transfuse. Looks like he wants to just try and defend it here with brute force, which I think is a bad idea. The upgrades are finished uh, for Tox, but Reisercar is still looking at about 20 seconds left for his. Yeah, all he has to do is defend until those upgrades are done, and then he can pr finally push in and defend this. Otherwise, or he's just going to run by the spine crawlers, but these Zerglings pop out just in time to trap them within the roaches. And I think he, that Reister car is just going to clean up this fairly easily. Yeah, that was a little bit of an overcommitment. Yeah, I think that was a, well, a little bit too. Surrounded. That was a little bit too overeager on Tox's part to try to run by the spine crawlers. Especially since Reisercar's larva just popped and he got the Zerglings right out right at the correct time. He's gonna have more. This, that's why I'm so mad. Is because he had those roaches <laughs> on rally, but he decided to do a run by. But I mean, he knew that he had a little bit of an advantage, and I don't know why he wanted to blow it away. Yeah, I don't know. He does have a higher roach count, but now they're even on upgrades, and Reisercar has the defender's advantage with those three spine oh, cars. Absolutely. Although Tox is getting his creep spread up a lot. The, indirectly, what this push is doing is it's actually stopping Reisercar from being able to spread creep. And while that's going on, Tox is just taking map control with his creep. Eh, don't have a single anti-air unit in the map. Spreading creep is not that big of a deal. Granted that uh, Tox doesn't really have his overlords in a favorable position, but... 
In Zerg vs Zerg, I mean the the vision is nice, but creep control is, you know, it could be a double-edged sword. Yeah, that is actually a really good point. But I think this uh, vision practically just gives Tox maps ha map hacks <laughs> to a certain extent. But I mean, he has the overlords there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You're right. Uh, now Ricerker's finally getting his 2-2 uh, two -two up after even. Tox is... Oh, it was almost finished. But Tox is working on the muscular augments for his Hydra, so he's going into uh, Roach Hydra. We haven't really seen any other kind of tech from Ricercar other than just straight up Roach. Which isn't the the worst thing in the world. If you get a decent, uh, you know, flank on anything, roaches are good against Hydras. It's just when you don't have the support. It's when you're in an unfavorable position where Hydralists become a better unit. Yeah, definitely. If you look at Loco or anything like that, he's the master of making just roaches and beating Roach Hydra all day long just because he's better at picking his fights. Now, Tox is trying to do something here against Ricercar, but Ricercar has just put up these four spine crawlers that has a bunch of Zerglings and Roaches for defense. I don't exactly know what Tox is trying to do with this, maybe buy time for Hydralis, but I think it would be better if he just got up a fourth base instead since he has so much map control. Exactly. I think he got really nervous because he saw how late that his third base was in comparison. I don't think he actually saw exactly how late it was, but I think he had an idea. And so he's like, I need to make something happen because I'm behind in this game. But I don't think he... He really wasn't that behind because I don't think he knew that how late Ricer Car's uh, Roach Tech was. Yeah, also, especially, um, Tox is way ahead in the tech. He has 2-2 two -two already. His Infestation Pit is coming up. He has Muscular Augments. The uh, Groove Spines is coming up just now. Uh, and he does have some Hydralis, about 8. So Ricer Car's definitely at a disadvantage on the tech part. Fourth base right now for Tox would just be the greatest decision in the world because he's really just expressing all the aggression and Ricercar seems to be kind of stunned by it. You know, four spine crawlers, he can't move past them. I, I would love to see it, but yeah, ho hopefully that does go down actually because yeah. it's have... very easy to defend a fourth base on this map from even just Zergling attacks because they have to run in through the natural first if they knock down both of these rocks. All the armies are maxed out right now. Uh, Ricercar only has roaches. He has 10 more roaches, but uh, to compensate, uh, Tox has 15 more Hydralisk. So we'll see which one pans out. It's really going to be a battle of position right now. Ricercar is getting his fourth right now. Uh, Tox still opting not to do it. We've got a big battle going up on the uh, 7 o'clock position. He does have, the does have an incredible concave if Riser Car <laughs> stayed there. Looks like we got uh -huh. a hatchery queued up here. <laughs> well, Riser Car is going to opt to do the run by to see what's going to happen. That's not the best idea because his army will be out of position, but he does get back in time. Yeah, now actually Riser Car has so much surface area yeah. with his concave, he's just going to be in a credible position. But he is running up forward. I think that lost a lot of firing time. Oh my god. It really so did. I don't know. Especially when you're outnumbered by Hydralisk. Yeah, Ricer Car only has four Hydralis when Tox has 19. And Ricer Car only barely has like four or five more roaches than Tox. I don't know how this battle is going to turn out, but it looks like Tox's Hydralis are just doing way too much damage. Yep. Although his uh, roach wall is getting a little bit thin, so I think Ricer Car might be able to oh, defend the, against this. Yeah, just the barely. The four spine crawlers definitely helped. And oddly enough, now, that puts him at a slight advantage because he decided to get that fourth, which Tox is really neglected. He could have had it so long ago safely. Yeah, he definitely could have, but I, and I'm also a little bit upset to see that he didn't remax with a whole bunch of infestors, because he did get uh, the uh, infestation fit and pathogen glands, he just hasn't... Uh, gas is a little low for both of them. Yeah, yeah, especially, but I think that fourth base especially, if he uh, had taken it, would have given him the gas for that. And buddy, now he is working on three three, but he's losing this battle quite handily. So I don't know what he's going to be able to do t uh, against this push by Ricer Car. Armies are, for the most part, relatively even right now. Ricer Car is a little low. Yeah, he's losing this battle. He needs to back out, save the Hydralis, save your expensive gas units. Oh no! But these two Hydralis. Oh no! The pathing. Oh, and they could die. Um, so now Tox is getting up that fourth base. 
that'll help him uh, afford the inf uh, infester tech that he spent so much money in already. But he did get that faster hive, so he's working on 3-3 when Rysakar has just now started his. So he's definitely leading in the upgrades throughout this entire game, but I just don't know if attacking into Rysakar when he's at his strongest with these spine crawlers was the right idea to do in the mid game. What's really going to just demolish talks right now is if you look at Rysakar's fourth, the first thing he'd started on was uh, six uh, things on gas. He's got that, he's got the gas, and that's just... When you have max armies, you can you know you can pump out whatever you want, but when you get those good units that are really just gonna infestors or more hydralis, that's what's gonna hurt. And if you look at his fourth, he just got those guys or stuff. That was kind of a, mix, a mistake not to get those going up early. Oh wow, that was really awesome. Hydralis micro micro in the back behind the roaches, and I think that Rysakar with this yeah. battle is gonna take the game. That was really well played by Rysakar. He just got a fourth up earlier. He was.